Right now, the president at the biggest college in the South Bay resigning amid a bit of controversy. Our South Bay reporter Joe Little has been working this story. He actually broke it on Twitter. Joe is there with an update. And we first got a tip that Dr. Melinda Nish was looking for a new job. Well, that one tip turned into a bunch of conversations about problems on campus. Dr. Melinda Nish has two weeks left on the job. The Southwestern College president agreed to resign at the end of the month. On Friday, Dr. Nish and the school's governing board issued a one-page statement trumpeting her successes since joining the school four and a half years ago. The statement says Dr. Nish is taking a sabbatical for personal and professional reasons. That being said, we learned the outgoing president was a candidate for jobs at community colleges in Santa Barbara and Portland. I emailed Dr. Nish some questions Thursday. She responded she is no longer looking for a job. She called her sabbatical much deserved. Nish also said the board did not ask her to resign. The past few months have been rather tough on the South Bay School. Southwestern's award-winning paper, The Sun, documented racial tensions at the administrative level with the school's Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Southwestern was also slapped with a warning about financial issues from the people who accredit the school. Dr. Nish's resignation comes less than five years after the school's last president, Dr. Raj Chopra, left after he feuded with faculty and student groups. He was later indicted in a widespread bribery scandal, accepting money from developers. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor. Now, Dr. Nish also sent me a personal statement this afternoon. She said, I am proud to say that I have served professionally and honorably and have left a strong leadership team in place to continue moving the college forward. Now, moving forward, the board says they're going to begin immediately looking for an interim president and a permanent president. Reporting live in the newsroom, Joe Little, 10 News.